I think this is one of the most horrific stories uh, you will read anywhere um, and, and unbelievably revealing of kind of the agenda of the new left, of the modern left, of the wacky left, but the wacky left as institutionalized all over this country. Um, and that is the story of what is today still, I think, ranked as the number one high school in the United States. Number one high school in the United States is the Thomas Jefferson, appropriately named, I think, High School for Science and Technology uh, in Virginia. Uh, this is a, a high school that many, many parents move uh, uh, to Virginia in order to, for their kids to attend. Uh, it is a high school that uh, places in the top universities in the United States, really in the world. Um, it's, a universe, it's a high school that is in uh, the state of Virginia, uh, as, uh, as uh, you might know. So it's, it's in um, somewhere in Northern Virginia, not sure exactly where, but in Northern Virginia. It also happens to be a public high school. So this is a high school run by the government. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a public high school run by the state of Virginia. And yet, it has managed over many, many years to establish itself as one of the top high schools in the country, if not the top high school uh, in the country. It's, um, I, I guess it's, it's in Fairfax County. OK, Fairfax County uh, really is suburbs of, of DC, in Northern Virginia. Uh, the Virginia Attorney General has just launched an investigation into uh, practices at the school. And uh, let me just say right in advance, appropriately so, absolutely so. And, and, and here are the two big issues that are going to be investigated. Um, investigated. I think the one, uh, the one which uh, says it all, you know, and, um, is, um, is the fact that the school has been withholding um, not telling its students when they have achieved uh, awards. Uh, in particular, let's see, what's the award called? This is uh, the, uh, God, where is it? Uh, yes, the National Merit Scholarship, uh, commen uh, uh, I guess uh, they give uh, awards, uh, they commend students, uh, National Merit, Merit Honors, I think they call um, uh, these National Merit Honors are um, available to students who score very high in standardized tests, uh, and uh, they are important uh, in uh, some colleges and universities' uh, decisions about accepting students. The top universities, co top colleges use this in accepting. It's also crucial to receiving um, to receiving scholarships. So there are, let's see, uh, uh, something like 800 special scholarships from evil corporate sponsors, of course, from those businessmen. Um, 800 special scholarships for extraordinary students, for students of ability, uh, for students who score very high on these tests, the students who get the National Merit Honors. Well, it turns out that for years now, the administration at the Thomas Jefferson School has been withholding these awards, the notice that students had received the awards from the students and their parents. Um, they've often not let them know at all. They've let them know late. Uh, they've sat on these uh, announcements so that the students could not use this information in their applications uh, for early admittance into colleges. So they've, a lot of these students have missed opportunities. Some haven't heard about it until after they've already been turned down or accepted by certain universities. Uh, and, uh, and only then do they know that they've got this, uh, this uh, award, right? This has been going on now uh, for several years. Interestingly enough, this is, of course, a school dominated by Asian students. Uh, a, a significant number of its student body is Asian, but but you know uh, I read the story of one kid who is an who is an Arab American, uh, Shawana Yasser, uh, that's the name of the parent, not the student. But her her son, uh, you know, studied hard, took the most advanced classes, um, and and actually won a, a National Merit Honor Scholarship and didn't hear about it. 
applied to the universities not knowing he had won and didn't get into his top choices, partially because he hadn't, he hadn't it, it, they didn't let him know. I mean, these are people who are running, not just ran, some random high school, but they're running what everybody knows and they know is the top high school in the country, where a significant number of the students. Uh, over the last five years, this sitting in this information has affected the lives of 1,200 students. 1,200 students. Um, one former student said he learned he won the award through a random email from the school to a school district email account that students rarely check. The principal neither told his parents nor made any kind of public announcement. Now, the, uh, just so you understand, the principal and the, uh, oh, this guy is what? This guy is a, uh, is, uh, ooh, I thought I, uh, yeah, there he is, uh, the Director of Student Services, Brandon Kostaka. He, he's the, he's the, uh, he's the uh, 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 Director of Student uh, Services. Um, the, uh, the principal is, uh, uh, uh Anyway, whatever the name of the principal is, um, they know exactly what they're doing. This is not accidental. This is not a consequence of, well, they just, they're just incompetent. The mail got lost. They have a bad address. It sat on a secretary's desk for a while. It, they were busy. Other things going on. No, this was a purposeful attempt not to recognize achievement, not to recognize students, knowing that such an attempt jeopardizes the success of these students. Um, Kotaska admitted that the decision to withhold the information from parents and inform the students in a low-key way, low-key way, like late and maybe never, was intentional. Quote, I mean, think about what this says. Um, Think about what this says about the, what this man's view of the world is. Quote, we want to recognize students for what they are as individuals, not focus on their achievements. <laughs> I didn't mean that, that five times. <laughs> we want to recognize students for what they are as individuals, not focus on their achievements. So what they are as individuals has nothing to do with their achievements. What they are as individuals is, no, this is not double talk. This is serious stuff. This is deep philosophy, right? Look, we're all determined by our genes and our environment. Our achievements are not our achievements. They are just the consequence of random occurrences in the universe. They are the consequence of being born to the right parents at the right time with the right genes in the right place and having loving family. And you get no credit for your achievements. And indeed, since you don't have any free will, you don't get any credit for really uh, most things. But, you know, your emotions, the kind of person you are, uh, you know, you're nice and friendly and the, 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 uh, that is what you are as an individual. Your achievements, that's just your genes. This is a consequence of the, God, uh, 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 of the determinism that dominates today's academia. This is a consequence of uh, uh, the, the uh, Rawlsian view that we are, uh, the Rawlsian political scientists, that we're all just determined, political scientists and philosophy, that we're all just deterministic nothings. This is the consequence of the evolutionary psychological view that you don't determine your fate, therefore you are not responsible for your achievement. This is, a, this is the same as, I think, the worst presidential speech in all human history, which was Obama's, you didn't build that speech. Well, you didn't achieve that. You don't deserve that. You don't get the award because you didn't do it. 
The focus is on purely what kind of individual are you? And what kind of individual are you has nothing to do with your achievements. It has everything to do with, I don't know, your emotions. Because this is how Kostaka continues. He said that he and his principal, they, they just didn't want to hurt the feelings of the students who didn't get the award. Talk about altruism and egalitarianism and envy and hatred of the good and hatred of achievement. And who, who, who is the bastard who put these people in charge of the school? I mean, these people shouldn't be in charge of anything, not even their own life. But who put them in charge of the number one school in America? How do they get that position? God. Yeah, I mean, this is what the superintendents, maybe this is, these are the people, the superintendent of Fairfax County Public Schools said, he said, uh, you know, this was a mistake, to be honest, right? We, you know, we have to do something special, a commendation sends a very strong message to the kid, right? Your work is meaningful. If you work hard in life, there are good benefits from that. It's just so mild. This isn't a mistake. This is pure evil. And it was over and over and over again over time. So Kostaka sent an email after he was caught. This, uh, this all came out in December. On December 12th, after he was caught, Kostaka sent an email to parents of the commended students, notifying them the important recognition and saying, we're deeply sorry for not sharing the news earlier. Um, this, is, this is part of the war on merit. This is part of the war on achievement. This is part of the war on free will. But it doesn't end there, folks. It doesn't end there. The principal of this school, the guy in charge of the school who was appointed in charge of this school, this is the top school in the United States, has been lobbying incessantly to make the school not the best school in the United States, to eliminate the merit-based acceptance standards to the school. The principal has been lobbying that basically there are too many Asians in the school and that they need to stop the merit-based admissions test to get into Thomas Jefferson. I mean, it's not an accident the school is the best school in the country. It admits the best students. <laughs> and what they need to do is increase diversity. And indeed, the process has become over the last couple of years of changing the admitting standards to the school, eliminating or reducing the emphasis put on merit-based, on highlighting diversity. Now, we'll see with the Supreme Court decision about Harvard whether this will stand that uh, decision. It, it, it looks likely that the Supreme Court will decide that uh, race-based admissions are anti -con uh, against the law, against the Constitution, but we'll see. So um, good for the Virginia Attorney General, good for the Governor of Virginia. Uh, they are looking into this. Uh, they are unleashing the Office of Civil Rights on Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology for, uh, for their failure to timely notify students of the commend uh, uh, commendation. By the way, uh, this story was broken by the City Journal in, in New York City, so it's important to give credit. That uh, City Journal is a publication of the Manhattan Institute in Manhattan. Uh, but also, they're going to look uh, at the overhaul of the admissions policies. So, you know, there is a backlash. Yo 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 Yonkins, Yonkins uh, was uh, voted in, I think, to governor of Virginia to a large extent over the horror of many, you know, relatively Democratic voters, uh, uh, people who typically vote Democratic, or the horrors over the Democratic Party's uh, uh, shift uh, against merit and achievement and anti-Asian attitudes and anti-success 
uh, attitudes. And uh, he, I think a lot of people who typically vote Democratic voted for Yonkins because he was committed to uh, schools being accountable to parents. What a, what a, what a crazy revolution that is. Uh, whereas the, I think the Democratic uh, governor, uh, his attitude was uh, parents shouldn't intervene in education, shouldn't butt in. It's none of their business. So maybe they'll fix this. Uh, maybe they'll fix this. Uh, Yonkins has been mentioned as a potential candidate, a uh, Republican candidate, or running in the primaries uh, for, um, uh, you know, for president. Uh, so, uh, but this, this, is, this is a good cause. This is a great cause to champion. Champion merit. Champion achievement. Champion excellence. Champion parent involvement in their kids' education. That's a great cause. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.